10 days after my surgery date. Hi there everybody, this is Firefighter Caffarata and it's been 10 days after my surgery date. Uh, my throat's a little hoarse still. I'm going through definitely some adjustments. I have a long list of medications, blood pressure, uh, cholesterol, and pain medications, uh, aspirin, Tylenol, and a uh, whole bunch of other things to help your body get back on track. Laxatives and uh, just things to kind of make me fall into place. Um, some of the biggest problems I have 10 days afterwards, I'll show you right here, is pain, 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 pain. So a lot of pain. Pain management helps a little bit, but uh, really you have to, you know, get outside, you have to walk. They recommend walking three times a day for five minutes at a time. I've been kind of exceeding that and going a little further than five minutes. Um, I walk around my cul-de-sac, my block, and that ends up being maybe like a quarter mile, but I do it three times a day. So it's been officially 10 days since my surgery. And in those 10 days, uh, I was in the hospital for the first like seven. And so now I'm home. So I'm happy to be home and I'm having a nurse come to my house twice a week. It's gonna be, it's Tuesdays and Thursdays, like my videos. And she checks my blood, checks my weight, my blood pressure, um, goes over how I'm looking, how my wound is, how I'm healing, listens to lung sounds. But these are all things that like, you know, aside from the nurse that you also want to pay attention to. Also, when you breathe, you want to make sure you're, you're breathing deeply because a lot of this, your lungs get affected during the surgery. So going back to the surgery, I told you in my last video, it was uh, exhausting. And the recovery for the first couple days was painful, even though there was a lot of pain management. And now that I'm home, I have more freedom and flexibility and things I can do independently. Uh, it is good. My appetite is still very minimal, so I don't eat a lot of food, but I do pay attention to my weight, right? And you don't want to gain more than two pounds per day, and you don't want to gain more than five pounds like in two days. Um, that's one of the things they were telling me. You know, watch. Uh, make sure you go to the bathroom. Unfortunately, I've been constipated, probably because of the pain medication the last couple days. Um, you know, at night, it's very hard to sleep. And it's hard to sleep because you're getting adjusted to your body that is healing. And so to sleep on a flat bed, you know, you can't use your arms. There's a rule, you know, stay in the tube. So your arms are supposed to be like not used like T-Rex. So you can't do a lot of stuff with your arms. You can't reach out. You can't lift more than five pounds in each arm. You can't lift more than 10 pounds total. Like I said, I have two boys, can't lift them. Uh, food, can't do a lot. Cleaning, can't do a lot. Putting on my clothes, yeah, it's hard. Taking a shower is hard. Facing the shower and having the water hit the, the wound and everything like that, I got mixed messages but the doctor's office said, go ahead and face the shower. So uh, I'm doing that. You wanna keep good hygiene. I take a shower at least once a day. I keep very minimal clothes on, which is like a zip up, right, and sweatpants. And this is gonna be about a three month process from like gradually walking, eating lean, and uh, having my regular checkups. Um, I actually got a new primary uh, doctor as well because I wasn't satisfied, satisfied with my original one. I think he did not do a good service for me. Everything that I did, like I'm explaining in all my videos, you have to be your best advocate. You have to be the person that makes sure that you're gonna survive, because it's hard. You know, I'm very fortunate and lucky to be here and uh, be with my kids. 
So number one, I survived to be with my children. And you know, I'm glad that they're gonna be around it. They're gonna have their dad. So that's a big deal. Um, I might have told you briefly in my last video that, you know, I had two potential dates for surgery. I had initially, it was the 27th of March, and then uh, my second opinion doctor in a separate region in San Francisco said, I have an opening the 21st, and I took it, right? Well, um, shortly after my surgery, my father, my family was there, he was talking to the doctor. I was still under anesthesia, so I was out of it. Basically, it was describing that my aneurysm was starting to dissect, it was starting to rupture. So I, uh, my dad told me afterwards when I came to, but he was not really aware of like, you know, rupturing. He just, he heard it was a soft spot. So, but I confirmed to the doctor, said, hey, doctor, thanks for everything. Thanks for saving my life. Thanks for giving me a second chance with my kids. But I heard you talk to my dad and you said there was like a soft spot. Is that, is that a sign that it was rupturing or dissecting? And he said, yes. So I probably, he said, you wouldn't have made it to the second. Like if you had your first opinion, your first surgery date, you probably wouldn't have made it to that date. So I'm lucky I'm here, I'm fortunate. But for everybody out there, follow your path. If you have these pains, if you have everything that you, know, that you need to go check yourself up on, follow through and do it. Um, but leading after the days of the surgery, Make sure you have people to help you out. You have to have people within your household, somebody that could, you know, hopefully do your laundry because it's, that would be impossible to do, um, and provide you with food and, you know, have a decent bed, right? And you wanna make sure everything is nice and clean. So when you come home from the hospital, you wanna make sure your sheets are clean, clean those once a week, and, you know, obviously change your clothes every day, that's a kind of an obvious one. Uh, they want you to have a lot of protein and they want you to uh, just basically monitor all those things I was telling you my nurse is doing, but you do it on your own as well. So blood pressure, weight, and uh, your breathing. When you sleep, staying in that tube, it's very unique because when you go to lay down in your bed, it's not like you lay down and you put your arms down and you just lay down, you, you can't do that. Um, now the physical therapist at the hospital that showed me what to do is like, like I'm laying down on my right side, right? So I go to lay down on my right side, I have to use my left hand and I have to rotate and do a, a tuck and roll, right? It's very hard, but anyway, um, I'm getting better at that. So. Thanks for joining. Thanks for following. If you have any questions, you know, put them down below. I'll, I'll answer everything I can. If I don't have an answer, I'll find one. Uh, thank you for my doctor, my family. You know, I appreciate everything. So, thanks.